it's another week with me. I am Kimmy, obviously. I took last week off because, you know, anxiety. But we got through it. We knew it was going to be a long week. And so I just didn't want to put myself through that mental, like, try to be chipper when I just have all this dread. But woke up Saturday and just was elated. We know the next couple months will be interesting. They're already trying to be stupid about it. So we just got to hang in there. Got to fight for Georgia and hope that we can uh, help with that runoff election uh, happening at the beginning of January. But there's a lot of work to be done. We got to make sure and hold everybody accountable still. But I will leave it at that. This week I kind of wanted to kick November off a little different. I figured I got a lot of love off of my Colourpop first impressions video so I thought I would kind of go a little bit more of a traditional route with YouTube and try doing a favorites video or more so a what's been getting us through quarantine basically. Yes if you didn't know this we're still in a pandemic. So Josh and I have been hunkered down. Obviously I am unemployed, but, and, and so we're so thankful that Josh is able to work from home and that he's able to, to do everything that he's doing. But we've been home for the last eight months. I'm still looking for jobs. I'm still trying to get out there. But in the meantime, trying to find stuff to keep us busy or to keep us happy and keep us moving throughout our days. And so these are just some of the things that have been kind of getting me through quarantine, but also some new stuff I've discovered. So I figured I would give some kind of my thoughts on the new the new items that I've discovered that I, I, I really like. Next week I'll get back into doing some type of makeup look. If you have any ideas or if there's a makeup look that you want to see, uh, leave a comment below with what you're thinking. And if there are um, some products that have been getting you through the last few months, comment those below. I'd love to hear what is making you happy and what getting what's getting you through each day. If you are new to my channel, I obviously do so many different things here. I do beauty makeup, I do effects makeup, I talk about my favorite things obviously so if you are new please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos I know that I love favorites videos I love watching other youtubers talk about what they enjoy for some reason doesn't mean I go out and buy it but I wish for it someday <laughs> and yeah let's go ahead and jump on into these items all right so I thought I would kick it off of course, since this is predominantly a beauty makeup channel, I'll talk about a couple of makeup items that I've really been enjoying and really loving. A couple of skincare items that have been getting me through the last few months as well. I preface this by saying I am on the drier side. I'm 32 years old. So whatever I'm saying works really well for me, may not work well for everyone or work well for you. So just look into stuff, do your research first. One thing I've been incorporating a lot lately is an essence. Like I said, I'm on the drier side so using an essence is actually going to help retain moisture throughout your skin it actually helps also pull your products deeper obviously your products are going to be able to penetrate better on hydrated skin and so this is my first step right out of the shower apply this on my face just a couple of drops into my hand and then I really press and pat it in this is the Caudalie uh, Vino Perfect Essence um, it's a brightening essence I use a lot of brightening products already so I don't really notice a difference with brightness per se in my skin but I do notice a level of hydration like this has definitely helped especially as we start to get a lot drier and a little bit cooler here in California this has helped quite a bit so I've been loving that guy and a lot of the skincare that I'm showing you I've well three of the skincare products I've gotten as gifts from my previous employer but I would purchase this one so I'll leave a link below if you want to look into it. Another thing that I've been actually loving kind of surprisingly, because like I said, I'm on the drier side, is the Ordinary's Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. This is good if you are experiencing issues with congestion, pores, breakouts in general. I've been using this usually every other night if I'm experiencing congestion or breakouts, mainly due to the mask knee that everybody has talked about. I've got a couple of little guys right now and so I incorporate this into my nighttime routine as my serum and I like this a lot actually I do feel like I've noticed a little bit of a difference with it evening out my skin tone and it definitely helps when I've got some congestion or some breakouts happening so this one is really good and they're also super affordable you can find them at Ulta Sephora they sell out really quickly so just be mindful of that. My nighttime routine that I've been liking a lot and I've been using the Sephora Collection Firming Sleeping Cream for the last 
three months, four months. I'm almost done. This is a pretty thick cream, but I apply it at night and I like a thick cream at night because I like that additional hydration. I like going to bed knowing that I'm really nice and moisturized because when you're going to bed at night, that's when your skin does its major like overhauls and repairing. So the more hydration that you have, the serums, all of that stuff, it's really good to do at nighttime. I would say that I feel a little bit firmer. Like I notice a little bit of a difference with like my chin area and like some of my fine lines, but nothing crazy or nothing major. But like I said, I've only been using it for about three months but I do really like the level of hydration that I get from this and the fact that I kind of wake up with a little bit of a glow to my skin. Speaking of glow, uh, the last skincare product I have to talk about is from Youth to the People. Youth to the People is actually one of my favorite skincare brands. They're based in, they're made in California and I like this one a lot. This is their Mac Maki and Acai Prickly Pear Goji Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Oil. Like I said, I like to have hydration and I like to have kind of that glowy skin to wake up to. So this will be my last step usually at night. I also mix this into like my thicker foundations. If I don't want as much coverage or if I don't want something that's like super thick and heavy, I'll add this one to it. So good, it doesn't irritate my skin. I have eczema, so any type of like oils and hydration. This has been one of my favorites so far. This, this little guy. All right, and then as far as like makeup is concerned, I don't have a ton of products to, to choose from because there hasn't really been a ton of stuff that I've discovered over the last few months. The one big thing I've discovered or me, yeah, the one thing I, me myself personally has discovered is ColourPop. Obviously ColourPop has been around for a hot minute, like YouTubers have been talking about it for years, but I personally had never tried any of their stuff. Like I said in my Hocus Pocus video, the first thing I ever tried from them was the Mulan ColourPop palette. And then I obviously got the Hocus Pocus collection. Really good quality, really nice and pigmented, really easy to blend. I don't know if it's consistent amongst all palettes, obviously, because sometimes formulas can be different during different eyeshadows. So, so it's a great, like if you're getting started in makeup or if you're an artist, like it's, I feel feel like they're a really good brand so far. And then I've talked about it before. I always have a hard time finding mascaras that work for me. And I talked about it in my last video, but the, the Falsies Lash Lift Mascara from Maybelline New York is awesome. I get the waterproof one because I usually run into issues with mascaras transferring on me. And this one is so good. It, I, the reason I love it is because it actually holds my curl. I have really long eyelashes, so I'll curl them a bunch and then they tend to fall if the formulas are really heavy. But this one actually keeps it keeps it in line i like it a lot so yeah that's uh, that's basically it as far as makeup and skincare is concerned now as of like a week ago i actually got this guy from hot tools their signature series it is their one step blowout styler i had seen people post about these for the last like year and i know that like the dyson air wrap is super popular dry bar has one amika has one but your girl doesn't have that kind of money right now. <laughs> and one thing that I wish I had the patience for was kind of round brushing and blow drying my hair, but I just don't have the arm strength for it or the patience. But this guy is really cool because it allows you to do the blowout. And so I'll insert a clip here of me using the product. This one we got from Kohl's. It was part of their like Black Friday early special deals. And so I want to say it was like 50 or 60 bucks, but so far I really like it. I use it on the high setting and then it has a little cool shot and it has a low setting as well. And essentially I want to say the video that I filmed of me doing my hair was 13 minutes long. So it cuts my blow dry down quite a bit. My hair was pretty damp still. Like I was fresh out of the shower, made a smoothie and then went to film that. So my hair was still pretty wet. I have really thick, really coarse hair. And so it takes a lot to blow dry it, but this made it super easy and I really enjoy it. So if you're looking at different like blow dry stylers and you have the money, to do like a Dyson air wrap or like the dry bar one. I've heard really great things about both of those, but if you're looking for a more affordable option, I would check out this one or the Revlon one. I've heard people give the Revlon one pretty good reviews as well. But yeah, this is another beauty thing that I've been really enjoying lately. So now to kind of get like random with it, I figured I would talk about some other stuff that's just been bringing me joy over the last few months and kind of getting me through a lot of stuff. Reading is a big thing. Obviously you've got to try to pass the time somehow. There's an app called Overdrive that we discovered where it can link with your local library. And so I installed that and it allows you to check out eBooks. And so I've checked out a few different books while being in quarantine. I think the first one I checked out was Bob Iger's book, the CEO of 
Disney and that was really good just because it has a lot of like history about what he went through with Disney and like his time before he was with Disney specifically but it's good because it's it's somewhat motivational but it also has some really good business insight in it too and then kind of randomly I <laughs> checked out Jessica Simpson's book because you know everybody likes to hear people's lives I guess I don't know uh, but that was actually really good and interesting and then I checked out White Fragility which I recommend if you haven't read that book read it very eye-opening and it, I felt like I learned quite a bit from it but yeah the overdrive app was really cool the fact that you can just go in sometimes there's obviously a lot of people may have discovered it at the same time so a lot of times books might be on hold and so it might be a couple weeks but you can go in and reserve a bunch of books at a time and then once it comes through you just get a little email notification you open up the overdrive app it takes you for me for example to the LA Public Library and then you can install it directly through the Kindle, which is great. So I read it before bed, during the day while Josh is working. The first hardcover book that I purchased recently was Midnight Sun from the Twilight Saga. Yes, I was a Twilight fan, still am. And you know what? I'm proud of it. Whatever. Anyways, I'm like halfway through that and I enjoyed it so far. But yeah, reading has been a big part of my quarantine puzzles as well. Obviously a lot of TV and stuff. Finally, like at the beginning of the year, we did The Office and It's Always Sunny. And we discovered the show Superstore, which I know has been around for a long time, but we had just started watching it. And oh my God, if there is a show that I could recommend more besides Schitt's Creek. Obviously Schitt's Creek is my favorite, but everybody knows that that's a great show. If you haven't seen Schitt's Creek yet, get on it. But if you haven't heard of Superstore yet, I highly recommend Superstore. That was like the first show that I realized I'm like, oh, I kind of want to get to bed early tonight so I can wake up and watch the next episode tomorrow. So it's just really lighthearted and cute. And it, it, if you've ever worked in retail, then you get it. <laughs> and then of course the movies, I've always talked about the different movies that we're watching. A couple of like random movies that we watched that came out while we were in quarantine were um, like Palm Springs was really good. That one's on Hulu. And King of Staten Island. I love Jed Apatow. So I really enjoyed that movie. That one I think you have to rent or purchase. We have the Shutter app for horror movies. There's a movie called Host that came out. It's like 50 minutes or something like that, but it was filmed in quarantine. So it's got a really great like premise and it was, I, it felt really unique for being like found footage idea. So I recommend that one too. You know, part of our, our binging is, you know, we like to have food or drink uh, during that. So a big part of our morning is our coffee. And you know, uh, let me throw it to the, the kitchen and show you, show you our uh, coffee situation. So one thing I've learned having all of this time at home is making the most of like little moments that I used to rush through. I think we all kind of do it when we have jobs is it's just like, all right, we wake up, try to get our morning routine in as quick as possible, grab our coffee, go out the door. We usually just make our coffee at home. Uh, we still like just brewing a big pot of coffee that we just kind of divvy up between the two of us. We've got all of our like ridiculous mug collection. We got got by an Instagram ad a couple months ago and it was right around Shark Week. It's this brand called Bones Coffee and they had a Shark Week specific or a shark specific coffee. It was a buttered rum flavored coffee and it was called Shark Bite. And the reason why we kind of were intrigued by it is because they were giving away a specific mug for Shark Week. And so we ordered like a flavor pack. You can do little trial packs, which are all of these like little guys. You get enough for a couple of batches of coffee but they have a ton of different flavors and they do a lot of stuff for the different seasons and so we got a halloween one that had their pumpkin spice or their pumpkin coffee and a few other ones i can never remember any of them he makes it in the morning and i'm just like i trust you whatever flavor you think and most of most for the most part all of them have been really good my favorite is the electric unicorn it's fruity cereal flavored coffee and i think what we like about it is all of the flavors are super subtle it's not sweet at all or anything like that it just adds a nice hint to your coffee the other thing that we got to kind of level up our coffee game, which I'm sure is mind blowing to everybody, but we decided to get a milk frother and this little guy makes such a big difference. Just having like a nice kind of frothy foam with your coffee, it just makes me feel more official and more legit. And so we, you know, we'll brew it in the morning make our little concoctions and then be able to really enjoy what we're drinking and sit down and kind of have 20 to 30 minutes to each other. Whereas before we would kind of be rushing through that whole routine. So this is something that I've really come to appreciate and come to love over the last few months.
All right, so yeah, that's our coffee. That's what's been getting us through our mornings and getting our day started. Another big thing or another big piece of what's been part of our days is trying to keep active as best we can. We go on daily walks usually. We try to get out of the apartment for like 20 or 30 minutes, obviously wearing our masks the whole time, but just to get out, get, get our blood pumping, get moving. We've tried to be as consistent with working out as possible. And I've been following this brand for the last eight years, seven years, eight years. I discovered these ladies on YouTube. They call themselves Tone It Up. It's founded by two women, Karina and Katrina. And it's essentially like a workout community, like flash support team for women. Like it's geared towards women, but they obviously have their husbands and boyfriends and stuff like that, that they encourage to get involved with too. And I've been subscribed to their app. And at the very beginning of quarantine, they had a big sale on it. So I subscribed to that right away, but it has on demand workouts ranging anywhere from 10 minutes. If you're just like, I need to do something really fast up to like 40 minute workouts that they have, but it's a majority of the stuff you can do at home. But I've, been using their protein for the last few years obviously if you're working out you don't need supplements but i like their protein a lot because i'm pescatarian so i don't like like a whey protein i'm not i'm just not i'm not into it and theirs is all plant-based so it's from pea protein and this one's kind of cool because it's protein and greens you can get them at target you can also get them on their website but this one has like kale spinach and broccoli mixed into it so if we have a day where i know i'm not getting a lot of vegetables then i feel a little bit better knowing at least i had a protein shake with some kind of nutrition in it they just launched these guys a couple like a month ago and they're you know like when you go to the gym and you see those dudes like on the ropes like the battle ropes and you're like oh they're yelling a lot they came out with a home version equal about 12 pounds of resistance they say and i'm sure our downstairs neighbors hate us but it's really nice for a quick cardio workout we can just basically anchor them to the leg of our couch and i'll lay a towel down and like move our area rug up underneath it so it doesn't like make as much noise and it absorbs a lot of it but these have been really cool they're also at target or on their website i think um and then kettlebells kettlebells are the shit i would say the my probably my favorite to get cardio and some type of toning in we got our kettlebells off of the Gaim website. It was when everything was sold out in every store. And I think one day I hop in to like browse their site and they had a 10 pound and a 12 pound kettlebell in stock. I'm not trying to be crazy physically fit. I just kind of want to have that balance of enjoying myself, but also get like a good sweat in and get like moving a little bit out of the day. Because when you're stuck at home, you, you can, it's very easy to become just like sedentary i trust me i know i did it for like the first month that we were on lockdown um, obviously none of this is sponsored or anything like that um these are all just products that we've either purchased with our own money or i like i said earlier were gifted to me thank you again for tuning in to another video this week i hope you enjoyed looking into what i enjoy i hope you have a good rest of your week and i will see you next week thank you